our friend Rafi Andonian. We had the chance to sit down with him and talk about Oktoberfest. That's right. That is I, the time of the yes, season. It starts in September. I know. If you were German, you'd know that. <laughs> he filled me in on that. <laughs> Celebrity historian Rafi Andonia joining us once again, and we're talking about beer. It's Oktoberfest, Arkansas beers. You brought some samples for us today. Very excited to try these tasty beers. Cheers. Let's just start with a, <laughs> absolutely, with a question about the history and the origin of beer. Yeah, there's different versions of beer that start going back thousands of years. Of course, yeah. working with grain and drinks goes back 10,000 plus years. They would give it as a reward, as payment to the folks who worked on the Nile. So how about hard, honest work beer? Yeah, I love right? that. How about that one? Ozark Lager, hard work, honest beer. Yes. I love that for the working class. You want to talk a little bit sure, about Oktoberfest? Oktoberfest yeah. begins a little more than 200 years ago. Now, right. that has sort of a... Uh, history too, we read the social class. It's actually a prince of Bavaria is getting married to a princess a little more than 200 years ago, so not nearly as lo far long ago as we, you know, were talking about earlier. Right. Now, what happens is it was such a great party for the wedding that it becomes an annual tradition. That's a fun thing about Oktoberfest is most Americans are like, oh, it's October, it's you know? Oktoberfest. Like, nah, it's over. Yeah. That's right, that's right. It's, it's finishing. actually in September, right? That's right. It goes into the first Sunday of October, so yeah. mostly in September, a couple days in October. That's right. And, Bo, I know that you've had the chance also to go to Munich. You said you were young when you went to uh, oh, yeah. Oktoberfest. What do you remember about the festival? over there uh the beer glasses are huge that's right like these ladies coming out with like six of these glasses i mean i still don't have the arm strength of that but yeah. that's where i had my first rattler which is like half beer half soda this right here was the commemorative one when we went back in 2017 that we got but just imagine these and bigger steins than this that come out and something that I remember about it, Bo, I don't know if you found this, but it's so easy to drink the beer there. So yeah. I don't know oh, what they goes, do, but it well, is. Well, a lot of those styles, you've got Pilsners, Kolsch's, Hefeweizen's, all those stuff. They're light, they're crisp, and they're easy to crush. Rafi, anything else we need to know about beer in Arkansas before we get out of here? I, I think that, you know, what I would keep in mind is the roots that we have here in Arkansas that go back to the German roots, goes yeah. back centuries. It's not just a recent thing, even though it's taken kind of its ebbs and flows. Yeah. And then if you look at the history of, or you look at the types of beers we have, have life here in Arkansas that you can kind of tell the story of beer for thousands of years which I think is really fascinating to do now something this big though is a little intimidating to it me is. if I drink that I'm definitely gonna become a philosopher king. you are absolutely <laughs> maybe you want to as well you can look him up at celebrityhistorian.com Rafi Andonian thank you so much again for joining us as always thank you cheers yeah cheers stick around we got more happening later